Well, here I have data on five companies, right? Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo. And there are three things which are of interest to me. Number of years is public company, revenues, and market cap. Okay. And I'd like to draw a chart where I can show all three without making the chart too cluttered. I don't want to create an information overload sort of a thing for the user. But at the same time, this three information should come out, should be easily understandable. If that's the, the requirement, then what do I do? Well, bubble chart is, is a great thing to do if this is what your requirement is. Now let's draw a bubble chart. So if you <clears throat> select this three, right? Select this three, go to insert, and then the scatter plot, click on the scatter plot, and you have bubble, right? You have bubble chart. Select the 3D wala because it looks good. You can select the, the other one, of course, but you can select the 3D. And this is the bubble chart that you get. So what do you get? You get x-axis, you get years as public company. Y-axis, you get revenues. And the size of the bubble, the size of the sphere, denotes the market cap. Okay? So this again is a very handy chart that you can use. So if you if you are in a situation where there are three things that you have to depict in a 2D chart, then this is a good way to do that. Okay? So that's that's one thing we can do. Now, few things here. As you can see, the axis goes to minus five and minus forty, right? In this case. So how do you fix that? Uh, this can be easily fixed. So if you just select the x-axis, x-axis, right-click, say format axis, and here, okay, I may have gone too fast here. What I meant is, click on the x-axis, select the x-axis, right-click, the last one is format axis, click on format axis, and here you have bound. The minimum is minus 5, the maximum is 40. All that you have to do is make it 0. Okay, so that takes care of the x-axis. You can similarly do it for the y-axis, right? Instead of minus 40, make it 0. And it fixes both the, both the problems. <clears throat> I mean, both the axes. Okay, so that is how you can fix these problems with access if you have to, right? Hope it's clear. No issues anywhere. Just select the access, right click and say format access. The rest is sort of, you can, you can figure out how to use that. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, you can use data labels to tell the user which one is which company because if you present this chart, then the user has to look at the data to figure out which is Apple and which is Facebook and so on and so forth, right? So either you can put those labels beside those bubbles or you can simply add a picture that is possible, right? So if you just select one particular bubble, right click and say format data point, format data point, which is the last option that you have, right? It allows you to fill the bubble with a picture, right? A picture. And here you can insert, say, insert picture from file, and you can go somewhere, you know, from some folder, and you can select the logo of Apple and Microsoft and Google and all that stuff. Right. In which case, because this, because these logos are kind of very pop popular, common, easily recognizable. 
you do not really have to write the labels you do not have to provide labels so that users understand you can simply add a picture okay so if you have uh, i don't know i've never tried this online thing but you can also do that i think so this is bing so we'll use bing search to you get a logo for apple oops this is not what i want typical of bing you can expect bing when you say apple to come up with lots of apples so this is one this is what i want and there you go okay so now this is apple and similarly you can have microsoft and google and all that stuff right so bubble chart remember bubble chart whenever you have these kind of a situation 